everyone. So in today's video, I think I'm going to do kind of like a try on haul. I recently went to Ulta and by recently, I mean literally a couple of hours ago and I got a bunch of new releases, a bunch of makeup and some skincare items as well, sunscreen, self tanners that I've just been interested in personally. And then I got a little bit of PR as well. So I think I have enough for a full face. I don't know if I have a foundation but I definitely have some newer ones that I'm trying out. So I thought that today we would do that together. Do a little try on haul, see what my first impressions are with you guys. So let's just, let's just jump right into it. After this, I have to go to, uh, and I don't have to, but I need to go to the gym. So this might actually be the best that I've ever looked. Uh, going to the gym, I mean, we'll see. Okay, so let's first start off with some sunscreens that I purchased. So I purchased four different uh, sunscreens. So let me kind of gauge you guys on this. I have tried so many sunscreens and last year I was planning on doing an overall video on every sunscreen that I've tried, like trying it on my face, telling you the ingredients, why I liked it, why I didn't like it. And I think I'm getting kind of overwhelmed with the idea of that video because I feel like I need to have a demo for every product. Whether or not I've liked it or not, do you guys still want to see that video? And if you do, would you be okay with application on the hand for products that I didn't like? I have like a huge box of sunscreens and I really want to come out with that best and worst kind of sunscreen video. So I just want a little bit of your guys' help to uh, see how I can best deliver a really awesome uh, video for you guys. For today's video, let me show you the four sunscreens that I picked up. So I got this one from Tula. It is their daily sunscreen SPF 30 and it's their glow and protect. Um, I'm really interested in this as like another kind of glow screen item um, like Supergoop has, except without like um, a bronzy tint to it. Cause the one from Supergoop does have a touch of a bronze. And I'm wondering if this could give me that similar kind of primer, like glowy primer look without that extra bit of um, like bronzy tint. I also picked up the Bliss Invisible Daily Sunscreen, the Blockstar SPF 30. This is a mineral sunscreen um, and I've heard a lot of good things about it. So I wanted to pick it up. Also, I love the package. And then I picked up two kind of different sunscreens that I wanted to try out. So this is the Sunbum Sunscreen Oil SPF 30. Um, and it comes out in a spray bottle. I'm wondering if this could be something similar to the glow oil from Supergoop. I just find that this would be really nice to apply like all over the body on the legs like during the summer. An oil all over the body that kind of sinks right in is easier than like a lotion product all over the body. So I'm kind of interested in this. That's why I picked it up. And then lastly, I picked up the Make It Glow Continuous SPF for face and body from Black Girl Sun sunscreen it's SPF 30 and if this could be like a little sunscreen bottle that I could throw in my bag for reapplication that would be awesome but today I already do have a bit of sunscreen on I could add another layer I mean another layer also never hurts but I also picked up this Neutrogena night pressed serum and the reason why is that maybe you guys know this maybe you don't I've been on the hunt for a dupe or an alternative, um, the word I like to use, for the Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Face Base. And what I've been doing is looking at the ingredients of a lot of random products that I come across. Um, you know, I'll go into store, I'll go online and just skim the ingredients to see if there is a formula that is similar to the face base, whether or not it's called a face base, because let's be honest, categories are just categories. You know what I mean? So here's what it looks like. I am going to take a little bit, oh, on the back of my hand just to see what it's like. Okay, it does have a fragrance, um, but it's very light. It's not like a citrusy fragrance like the other um, face base. Oh my God. Oh my God, you guys. Okay, here's the thing. I have to test this out, you know what I mean? Like to really give you guys an idea if this texture is going to be is really going to deliver um, the same way that the face base does. So what I'm gonna do is I'll apply some sunscreen, let it sit, and then I'll add a little bit of this 
um, over top. I get a lot of questions about that, like when, like what step to use the face base. Um, do it after sunscreen or before if you'd like. It doesn't really matter as long as you're letting your sunscreen uh, set. If you are concerned about it, you could always just use a sponge to kind of press the face base or primer into the skin rather than rubbing it if you're worried about it messing with your sunscreen. I think that could definitely give you some peace of mind. Um, but I think I'm gonna use the Tula today. Um, I'm really interested in putting this on. I did swatch it in store and the color, well, it doesn't have a color, but do you see how it has like a bit of reflection to it? I'm hoping this is gonna be like a nice kind of priming sunscreen that gives you a bit of a glow. It feels very, it's like a gel cream kind of texture. And it is giving a really pretty glow, so that's good. And I'm not sure, you know, right away, obviously, these are all first impressions, but I do kind of prefer this texture to the glow screen from Supergoop. But let me put some on my eyes, because that's always a good test, if it's going to burn. Because you should always put sunscreen on your eyes. And no burning at least right now, but as we continue on with the video, I will keep you guys posted if it does start burning. Now, okay, so I'm gonna let this sit and then we'll come back and use just a touch of the Neutrogena. All right, all is well with the Tula Protect and Glow sunscreen so far, and I'm going to add a little bit of the Neutrogena Nightly Pressed Serum onto the face as well. Wow, I'm just, I'm feeling good about this. I'm interested in how makeup's going to apply over since that's the whole freaking point. And next, let's go on into foundation. One that I am still trying out for an upcoming overview on balm foundations, which is coming very soon, is the Monica Blunder Foundation. And this is the shade number two. So I am going to apply this right on. And I really, really like the Beauty Pie uh, Seamless Foundation Buffing Brush for my balm foundations. This is like really a perfect brush for that kind of texture. But hopefully I don't have any cream bronzer on it because I also have been loving this for cream bronzer. Um, so hopefully that does okay. I like it because it's a little bit denser than like the one from Rare Beauty, which I love the one from Rare Beauty too, but sometimes for a denser formula, you want something a little, like even more dense. And with the Monica Blunder, Blunder cover, it is, I think the stiffest out of the like balm foundation, cream foundation products that I have been trying. So um, I just find that that brush does a really good job and it blends super, super quickly any products that go on. So I'm just gonna kind of take my finger and kind of press and blend a little bit just to kind of warm things up. And then I'll go in and use a little bit extra, put some on the brush and then just use some downward strokes. But I gotta tell you, it has just been like an absolute joy um, to wear this. And I'm wearing this to the gym which I'm excited about because I don't think I've worn this to the gym yet. So there we go, all applied, very beautiful. Um, it's, you know, a buildable product. I would say this is more of like a light to medium coverage, but it really doesn't look like it on the skin, which is always a good thing. Now for concealer, I actually picked up two concealers that I wanna try. So I picked up the Tarte Ultra Creamy Shape Tape. Um, I didn't like the original shape tape, but the ultra creamy, maybe that would work for me because I do have more dry skin. And I also picked up the Morphe Hide and Peak Concealer. Um, this one, the texture of it on the back of my hand felt really good. Um, so this is the shade Peak of Fawn. And there's that shade right there. And then I also have 16N, which is Fair Light Neutral in the tart and I got the mini size just to give it a test. I'll swatch this one as well. I think that's definitely a better shade match for me. 
So I think I'm gonna go with the one from Tarte. I'm nervous, because I am always nervous to try new concealer, because I got my favorite, which is the Kosas Revealer Concealer, and I don't really like to try much else, but here goes nothing. I'm going to let it sit, because I always let my concealer sit for a bit, and I'm going to do my eyebrows, and then I'll be right back. Okay, everyone, so let's blend this out. I think right before I blend it out, I'm gonna add just like a little bit more. Just a little bit, okay. And let's see how this looks. Oh, I'm a little bit nervous. I think the shade match is pretty good. So I will say that as far as like the way it looks under the eyes, uh, texture wise, it looks really nice. But I'm kind of surprised at the coverage amount. Like I feel like I want a little bit more coverage. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna add just a little bit more. It actually blends really nicely with a finger. And I'm going to just blend the rest with the sponge. So, yeah, is it, you know, like, co-sauce revealer, kind of, immediate love? No. Um, but it's not bad, actually. I'm wondering if this shade, Peak of Fawn, could add a little bit of color correction. So I think I'm gonna add a little bit of that over, just to see. And on my nose, I feel like my nose is looking red today. Um, maybe you can't tell on camera, but it's feeling a little red. Honestly, I don't even know if that helped or made it worse. <laughs> that could have been worse, I guess is probably the case. Um, so I also have purchased a bunch of balm bronzers as well, or just like cream bronzers in general. I've been trying out the new uh, Makeup by Mario Soft Sculpt Transforming Skin Enhancer. Um, which is essentially um, more of a cream bronzer kind of product. And then, oh, I got two shades of it. These are the two shades. Um, I've also been trying the powder as well. I don't know where that is. Um, I've been trying this one from NARS. It's a new shade. Before I had only had Laguna um, 02. Um, that was the only shade they came out with. And I've been wearing Laguna 01. I really got to keep trying out these Makeup by Mario's uh, products though. So I think I'm going to use that today. Um, but one thing I will say about the NARS is that uh, if you have been following my channel for a long time, you know I actually didn't like this product. Um, and I have to tell you that I don't know if it's the shade or if the formula has slightly changed, but this is impressing me. So I don't know. We'll have to see how my opinion has changed in an upcoming video. But I'm going to apply Light Medium from Makeup by Mario. Um... And just, I'm using it as a cream bronzer. I think that a lot of people were a little bit unsure about what this product was. I think it's essentially a cream bronzer. So that's how I like to use it. And um, I think the other product is a little bit more of an interesting story. It's kind of like um, a setting powder for your cream bronzer. Um, he says that you can use it all over the face, but I gotta tell you right away that I wouldn't, um, just from my experience so far. But this one is really nice. It's like the most sheer, like buildable, balmy kind of cream bronzer that I've used. You can see that it really isn't like intense pigment right away. By the way, I'm adding quite a bit just because I feel like I'm feeling a little bit pale. It's very, very glowy and pretty. Um, I don't know if it's a great launch for the summer necessarily though. Like I understand that, you know, you want a cream bronzer, you want a bronzer in the summer, but because this is so glowy, I do feel as though unless you have the setting powder, you know, um, or set it with a powder in general, uh, folks with oily skin might not have a great time with it. But, you know, how do you want me to review this, like, for you guys? Do you guys want to see that full-on um, balm bronzer review? I did one last year. I'm happy to do it again if you guys want kind of like a balm bronzer overview. I'm obviously already doing one for uh, balm foundations. I've also been trying the one from 
uh, Rose Ink. I've tried the one from Anastasia. I've tried the one from Soul Body, from Chanel, say. Like, I have a lot of experience with them, so I am happy to do um, an overall video if you guys are interested. Okay, so that is all good. And I'm liking the way that it looks. You see how, like, this brush just kind of does everything? I've really been liking it. I actually initially found out about this product from Khaki because she said that she liked it even more than her Rare Beauty brush. And I can certainly see why, because it's just easy. All right, let's venture forth into this big bag of mystery. Next, we have blush. And I have been wearing nonstop, and I haven't even been talking about this blush, which is kind of weird. Um, it's the Tarte Maneater Blush and Glow Cheek Plump. Um, I love this. This is one of the best liquid blushes I have ever used. And I just realized that I haven't really talked about it on my channel, which is bizarre. But I went into Ulta. By the way, this is the shade Peachy Pink. I'll just swatch both for you guys. Um, I went into Ulta and I was like, I really want another shade. And I went and looked at the shades. That's the shade Peachy Pink, what I've been using. It's really perfect, like, for any look. And I picked up the shade Buff. And I feel like for the summer... Again, one of those like really easy to wear kind of colors. It's just more of a muted buff kind of shade. So there are the two shades. I'm gonna use buff because I just picked it up and I'm excited to try it out. I would love to see them come out with some juicier colors though. Um, but you guys, it's really easy to apply. Like you see how I'm just like swiping it right on. Um, they're pretty sheer. Actually, I hope this one is as sheer as the other one. Um, they're not actually, they're not super sheer, but they have like, they blend out really easily. Oh my goodness. Do you see that? Oh, that is just exactly what I was hoping for with this. It's just so freaking pretty. I did add too much on this side, but it's fine. I'm just taking the excess on my hand. And again, I'm pressing. If you guys want to know how to apply cream blush and how I do it, um, I have a whole video on it. Yeah, I'm feeling good. I feel like the skin looks really uh, dewy and fresh today. And I'm just gonna take the rest kind of on the lids a bit. Okay, pretty. All right, and now I think, yeah, I guess we're gonna do eyeshadow next. I have the It Cosmetics Superhero No Tug Shadow Stick, and I have the shade Tenacious Tawny. Look at this shade. I can't believe I didn't pick this one up when I picked up Super Slate, which is um, a shade that I love from the line already. Look at this. Like, wow, this that kind of like red clay kind of, I like, I, I'm really excited to use that. Um, and then I also picked up, I don't know which one I wanna do today, but I also picked up one of the MAC Pro Longwear Paint Pots. And this is the shade Vintage Selection. I've never heard of this shade, but you guys look at this. Oh, let me screw this on pretty tight. I guess they have to. Um, they don't want them to dry out before people get them. Ooh. I, and I love it just because it's like one of those soft, slight bit of taupe kind of colors, which are some of uh, my favorites. Um, hmm, but what do I want to do today? You know what? I already know I love the formula of the It Cosmetics sticks that I think I'm going to try out the one from MAC because I don't know if I've ever tried out this formula. I think like back in the day I did. Um, but it was one of like the eye base colors like painterly or something and then I put it on and it was way too yellow and I think I re ended up returning it. So let's see what this looks like. It's really soft. Yeah, there's not really much going on with this, honestly. That's not necessarily a bad thing, but I think I was expecting even more taupe. I don't know why I was. I feel like it's swatched a little bit differently in store, um, but I am going to just take a brush and blend this out. 
You know what? First impressions on that are that it's kind of boring. Hmm. Yeah. That, yeah. I'm gonna say for right now, I think it's kind of boring. So I'm gonna add some of the cosmetics um, because I want to. <laughs> and I'm just gonna add a little bit to the outer corner and then on the lower lash line as well. Because why not? You know these colors aren't like perfect together, but hey, what are you gonna do? I gotta tell you, I've really been liking a little bit more of that smudgy look on the lower lash line. I feel like it just kind of gives you that like bedroom eyes kind of thing. And I don't know if it's, you know, it's for me typically I like to keep most of the weight of my eye makeup on the top just to give me a really bright eye look because I do have uh, darker circles under my eyes. But, you know, I think it's kind of fun to play with. All right, now I'm going to curl my eyelashes and I don't have a new mascara, so I'm just gonna use the one I've been using. Oh my gosh, I almost forgot. You guys, Aja sent me their new Beauty Bentos. I have the peach one and the mauve, and they're so freaking pretty. Crap, I wanted to maybe use one of those. These shimmers on top are, sorry, that was I guess the little film. The shimmers on top are kind of insane. They almost remind me of like the Rowan, like super intense uh, shimmers. And then they also sent me the highlight, the Viva Shine. And look at this, I also swatched this too. I hope that you guys can kind of tell what kind of texture this is, but it's like a, a pressed glitter on top. And it is like pretty galactic kind of glitter. Like I feel like it would just be fun for um, for me, like for a night out or something. See, like it leaves behind those kind of like chunkier glitters. It's almost like, like a glitter in a gel situation. Um, also, they have some highlights in here. Maybe I should apply one of the highlights. That one's gonna be too gold. So I think I'm gonna apply this one because why not? Oh my gosh, my nails. My nails are so dry right now. Let's just apply a little bit. pretty. I haven't worn powder highlight in a long time. It's pretty though. I mean, I keep applying it. It's nice and soft. There's nothing like over the top about it. Apply a little bit on my nose too. Maybe I'll take some on the lid as well, just to kind of give the lid some little spice. Oh, that's pretty. I think that needed, I think the lids needed that. Okay, now Uber Volume Boost from Beauty Pie for mascara. It's just a really nice fluffy lash mascara. And I am someone that really likes a, a fluffy, a wispy kind of look. I think I'm gonna set my under eyes a little bit with some powder. I know, weird for me, but I've really been liking the, the Givenchy Prism Libre powder and I've been like looking forward to using it. I know, kind of weird. Um, I wish I had my powder puff. Um, do I have it? Oh, I do, cool. I really like using the powder puff that it comes with too. So I'm just gonna take a little bit that right under my eyes. Just really, and a little bit on the T-zone too. Not on the nose though. Maybe I'll take it over here too. Why not? I just, I, I didn't want to love this powder and I didn't even, I wasn't even holding out a lot of hope for it. I gotta be honest, you know, with powders, I'm used to being disappointed then sometimes powder comes into your life and really changes it. And now we have the lips. Oh, I also wanna set my face. Should I do that first? Okay, I think I'm gonna set my face. So I have a, the Glow Mist from Pixie. Um, and this is more of like an oil glowy kind of mist. So I don't think I'm gonna use that just cause I'm going to the gym. Um, I think I'm gonna try the Conceal and Define Infinite mattifying long wear 16 hour wear uh from revolution i've seen someone talk about this on tiktok oh 
oh, that's better. <laughs> I thought it was just like gonna shoot straight at my face. Um, and they say it's really good. Could run the risk of drying me out. Let's see how it goes on. Oh! Mm. That did not go on in a relaxing way. <laughs> that could be interesting though um, to review for you guys in the summer um, or you know, follow up with you all on. I almost wanna put the glowy one over top now, but damn, that was an intense one. Okay, I also picked up this Tan Me Like You Mean It Moisture Revitalizing Tanning treat Treatment, insanely dark, which I kind of like to do um, self tanning like once and be done with it, even if it is a little bit too dark the first day. So I might use this tonight, um, but I'm excited about this. And I also wanted to do a tanning video, like on my favorite self tans. Um, so, I think, because I think that would be fun. Okay, but I have three lip products uh, that I wanted to try out. I have the Pillow Lips Solid Serum from It Cosmetics. And I'm gonna put this one on first, and I think I'm gonna go in with one of the Poutsicles from Fenty, because I did get two colors. But let's try out this first. So it's one of those click up lip serum kind of products. I'm interested if this is going to be like my favorite Hyaluronic Happy Kiss from Charlotte Tilbury, or even like the Tarte Maracuja. Like, I wanna see how this formula compares. So it's really pretty actually. It feels nice, but it's not very, hmm. It's not really like, feels kind of just like a lipstick. Like it doesn't really have a really glossy finish to it. It doesn't feel on the, like going on the lips. It doesn't have that like thickness, that thick Hyaluronic Happy Kiss like liquefied lip balm kind of texture either. Um, not bad, color's really pretty too. I think I need to take more time with this product and come to appreciate it for what it is rather than what I was expecting it to be. And I think that that's where um, first impressions are important. Like it's important to realize that is I don't need to force this into being a certain product. If it is good for what it is on its own, then that is also fine. So I'm gonna just take this off. Did feel like my lips needed a little bit of moisture though. Not gonna lie. Um, but let's try out a product that I've been very excited about, which are the Poutsicles from Fenty. So I picked up two shades. I have the shade Zesty Bestie, which is a really pretty bright coral. Look at that. Woo! I'm gonna be looking interesting going into the gym. Um, and then I also picked up the shade my type. Spelt like my, like my tie. <laughs> and there are the shades. I really, really like those shades. I think I'm gonna go in with the shade my type just cause it's a little bit, like not quite as bright as the other. Texture is really nice. The applicator is nice too. It's not quite as big as the other Fenty applicators are. Okay, I mean, I think that's really pretty. I really like that shade. The texture is also quite interesting. It feels very secure on the lips, um, but it doesn't necessarily feel like a lip stain. Um, it definitely feels a little bit more hydrating, which I think is nice really pretty um, shine, but I imagine it's gonna kind of go down a little bit, but I really like that color. I feel like it really brightened up everything. I would love to see like a brown shade. It kind of takes away from the point of this being a popsicle kind of shade range, but I can't help but wonder how like, um, more like a 90s brown would look with this formula. I think it would be pretty. I think that's everything, you guys. I have so many freaking 
products in front of me. If there are any of these products that I used in today's video that you want a recap on, if you want to see them incorporated into other videos, please let me know. Make sure to leave any of your feedback on the sunscreen video, on the self tanning video, on the balm foundation video, the balm bronzer video. Like I have a lot working up in this brain. Would love to hear all of your feedback. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next one.